Boy, it looks like time is more work. Oh, hey, welcome to this, the final session in our Spiritual Pathway Study Series. Today we focus on our last and the sixth of the series of serving in mission. And what better place than to do that from the kitchen of the United Methodist Church of Whitefish Bay, symbolizing hospitality and service with countless meals, not only in ministry within the life of our church, but missional efforts that have sent meals beyond our walls to the world in need. We've reflected on a spiritual pathway that is intended to be faithful to our purpose, uh, our discipleship process in Christ, while attempting to give us three clear, simple, memorable guidelines to our life. At the center of our spiritual journey pathway is a call to connect, grow, and serve in our relationship with God and others. Bible lesson today, we learn in Luke uh, that Jesus is giving his first message uh, to his home church, uh, starting his ministry. At first, Jesus' hometown congregation was all supportive. Who doesn't want to be liberated from anything or anyone that is oppressive? They were proud of their homeboy. But notice how the support turned to anger when they learned that Jesus was offering this liberation to all of humanity. But why? Do we do the same? We're all about freedom and understanding that comes through faith in Christ. But as soon as we hear that is available to those people, do we get angry? This is a challenging message. But isn't at the heart of it our hope for all of humanity, that all are included, all are called? Then we look at Acts and we see that, like the disciples, we too are called to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Jesus' ministry started with the anointing of the Spirit, like a dove that came upon him, or the Spirit that guided his way from his 40 days in the wilderness. And now the church begins its ministry as Jesus empowers the church at Pentecost with the Holy Spirit. How might we be more available to that spirit at work in us, that we can be agents of God's grace and mercy, agents of peace with justice for all of humanity? I'm so grateful you took the time and the opportunity to join this um, spiritual journey pathway, and I pray it's assisted you in deepening your connection. Just a reminder that connecting, growing, and serving is just a pathway, a compass, a guide, we have yet to continue to live the rest of God's journey for us, that we can bring the aliveness, life of the ages to all of God's children. Thank you for being dedicated to this uh, series, and I pray that you'll prayerfully consider how you might continue your journey to connect, grow, and serve in your relationship with God and others. God bless you.